Hello there everybody and welcome back for another commentary with Nova Mage. Okay, so we're having a wanted match today and yeah, it's nothing to phone home about, but anyway the point is that we're celebrating a very special occasion. A few days ago it was like my anniversary making YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, so yeah it's kinda nice having done this for a year you know time goes away pretty fast actually I was kind of su kind of surprised when I realized that my first video I uploaded it like the 22nd of November last year and yeah it was pretty nice also another thing that we're kind of celebrating is uh, that I have a hundred subs uh, wait a hundred subs hmm yeah kinda I know I'm kinda late for the news, but I already got 200, so why is this like the 100 subscriber special? Oh yeah, that's because, yeah, I had been busy and uh, lots of work and yeah, didn't really have the time to, to make something like this before, but yeah, I'm making this and I'm also making another one for, for a 200 special. Of course, the 200 special is going to be a bit different, but you'll see it once it comes out. Anyway, as you can see, I, I am playing as the Lady Maverick with her champion pack custom. In case you didn't know, that is her champion pack custom. And one thing I wanted to point out is I have absolutely no idea why does Ubisoft have no feature that allows you to preview the champion packs before you buy them. Yeah, Ubisoft, why do you do that? Because, for example, I mean, the only reason that I actually got this champion pack was because I had seen it in a YouTube video and also I saw people using it in the gameplay and that's kind of like the only way that you can actually find out how the champion pack looks the, the, the custom because they, don't, they just give you like this little thumbnail and you can't really appreciate anything in that th thumbnail so yeah Ubisoft fix it in the special offers, like for example the warrior custom that came out I think last week or I don't know if a week and a half ago, you could see them. You could see them in the customization options for each of your characters. You could see it and if you wanted to buy it, you just buy it. And that way you don't miss on any customs that you actually want to buy. Because for example, I saw the bear, the bears champion pack custom and I really liked it, but to be honest, I don't usually use the bear and without seeing the custom I wasn't just going to throw my money blindly like like yeah oh, let's just buy this because I'm, I'm not buying every custom I'm just buying the ones that I like and without seeing them I cannot know if I like them or not right <laughs> yeah that's basically it okay um, on another note uh, now I am a PC player, yeah, I got the game for the PC platform, so if anyone wants to add me there, feel free. I'm just gonna be adding random people, it doesn't really matter right now, because pretty much my friends, friends list is empty. And I tried, actually I wanted uh, this, the gameplay for, for this commentary to be a PC uh, game, but the matchmaking has been kind of messed up for the last two days and I haven't been able to play. I mean, I have barely been able to play at all. Most of the, of the time I have been playing Wolfpack. But from what I could see, I really like uh, running uh, the game in my PC. I mean, it, it runs a lot smoother than it does on, t on PlayStation 3. And most, I, I suppose that somehow the, the hardware from the PlayStation 3 doesn't quite meet the requirements for the game because in PS3 I get constant uh, freezing. I mean, in almost every game there is at least a few times where the frame rate some, somehow drops and there are some, some frames that the game just freezes. It also happened in Revelations, but I think in 3 it has happened more often. I'm not, I'm not completely sure because I don't, don't quite remember. But I'm pretty sure that it does happen, and that's not an isolated issue. Because in Draquasa's video that we played together, I could notice how it happened to him every now and then that the screen would just freeze and for two or, or three frames just show you the same image. So, and also another thing is that if you input something using your controller doing those freezing images, then it, it, that's lost. I mean, the game doesn't process anything. 
Yeah, more things for Ubisoft to fix, but nothing new. Anyway, uh, the main, the thing that I wanted to make the main topic for this video is my opinion on a video that Santiago TC put in his channel a few days ago. And in that video, I'll leave the link in the, in the description so so you can see it. He talks about how someone sent him a message and in, in the message the person tells him like hey you should do should should stop doing youtube videos because no one no one of the big channels is watching them like no raining storm wake no no escalates no gamers beverage etc 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 and uh, well you can uh, of course listen to santiago's opinion on that on the video but uh, my opinion is like i just every day I understand less about the haters on the internet. I mean like why? Why do people do that? What can they possibly gain from discouraging another person from doing what they like? I mean if you just don't want to watch their videos, just don't watch them. But don't spread your hate into the other person. I mean we have enough haters already. <laughs> like I think like the haters outnumber the, the non-haters like 9 to 1 it's like 90% haters crawling all over the place I, I just don't understand please take it easy I mean it's fortunate that Santiago is a strong person I mean like he's not a weak minded person that he would just quit because someone told him in that video he doesn't really uh, disclose the identity of whoever sent the message so you don't don't really know if it was someone close to him or if it was just, just someone at random of course if, if it was someone at random yeah there's absolutely no reason to pay attention to them but I believe that perhaps it, it was someone slightly close to him I of course I don't know I'm purely speculating and when someone tells you that kind of thing, I mean, it's just like, I don't know, it, it, it kind of sucks. I, I don't know in which way it sucks more, because the fact that they're telling you or the fact that you realize that after you put all your effort and everything into doing something, then there's people who come up with that kind of thing. I just don't understand. Because yes, if you do, if you're doing the YouTube videos, then I think or it should be the main reason for you doing the videos that you actually like them because if you don't like them then if you don't like doing YouTube videos then you're going to well either get bored or you, you'll just uh, give up at some point because yeah you, you you don't have the strength to actually carry on with it it's like almost anything else in life like for example for instance if you uh, get a job or, or a career and it's a career on something you don't like then you're just probably going to quit because you have to think like your lifetime is limited your, your time doesn't last forever you know and you're going to be dead eventually and if you're going to spend your life doing something that you don't like then yeah you're gonna have like quite a bit of regret <laughs> on your deathbed and that's something I wouldn't wish for anybody anyway about about that of sending people messages like that dude okay look at this every video if you haven't noticed it has two buttons one says like and the other says dislike you can hit the dislike button alright okay that that's not considered hate you have the right to dislike something, you don't have to like everything. However, it is completely different if you send a message discouraging the other person to do what they love. Because that's that's just hate. It's like, oh yeah, that, that's not freedom. You know, it's not. it doesn't quite go into the free... Well, yeah, you can do it. But what I mean is, it's not like disliking and liking, which is plain simple and you express your opinion without transmitting any hate, just in a respectful way. But by doing that, then you're just another jerk. Yeah, I'm, I hope that you don't want to be a jerk. Yeah, just saying. Anyway, before this commentary ends, I want to thank two 
I think I, I should say two special people. Uh, those are Surt and Infamous Templar. Uh, I had played with Surt even before I I began my channel on YouTube, but he didn't really know I, uh, that I was going to start it. And Surt and Infamous Templar were like my first two subscribers. So I want to give some big thanks to them because probably if it wasn't because of them I wouldn't wouldn't have kept on doing videos you know you have to thank those people that gave you the, the initial push and that motivate you to to start doing what you have in time realized that you like because I really like doing this honestly sharing thoughts with you people it's really awesome and yeah it's it's just great I hope that you enjoyed if you like, as I always say, if you liked, click the like button. If you dislike, hit the dislike button, but yeah, please <laughs> don't. Anyway, thanks, and I'll see you next time.